Good morning. Welcome in. It's time for the Martin Morning Report. It's a Friday. It's August 30th. Waiting on my co-host here very, very soon and excited to tell you about five fast things from a Thursday in KMA land. And it's brought to you by United Group Insurance, serving Southwest Iowa for over 40 years. And as always, we start every Martin Morning Report with what, ladies and gentlemen? Tougher than a $2 steak. Tougher than a $2 steak. Tougher than a $2 steak. Performance of the day. And we go today to last night's volleyball, and we go to Glenwood, where Charlie Hernandez had herself a performance. She's used to those. More, more importantly, we want to highlight the three wins for the Glenwood Rams. Charlie had a lot to do with it last night. Nine kills as Hudson has arrived. Hudson, get in here. Get in here. Mm. Say hello. Say hello, Hudson. All right, get after this cinnamon toast crunch, my young man, and listen to the Martin Morning Report. Glenwood 3-0, Hernandez 9 kills against Sydney, 7 against Tri-Center, 8 against Sergeant Bluff Luton. Balanced performance as Glenwood goes 3-0 on the day. Other volleyball from yesterday. Sergeant Bluff Luton at that quad goes 2-1. Bree Vanden top 21 kills, 8 blocks. Sydney was 1-2. Addie Foster had 10 assists and 10 digs in their win against Tri-Center. East Mills 2-0, including a corner conference win over Essex. 15 kills for Evelyn Stokes, 20 assists. Venice Sayers also beat Southwest Valley with 10 kills and 9 digs from Loisy Palmer and 25 assists from Sayers. Fremont Mills beat Bedford on our KMA Extreme last night. And Tabor, 17 assists, 4 aces, 5 kills for Lana Alley. 11 kills for Carly Chambers. Denison Sleswig over Storm Lake last night in 5. Kaya Clark, 38 assists, seven digs. He used to work with her dad at Old Navy. Gabby Cardenas, 16 kills, nine digs, three aces. Southwest Valley over Essex, 10 assists for Morgan Schuler. A 2-0 night for Xyra Elkhorn, Kimbleton as they beat Griswold and Lennox. Jalen Peterson, 18 kills, four aces, five blocks, six digs. Griswold was one and two. They beat Lennox there, 18 kills and four blocks for Gabby Griman. Marissa Asklin had 13 kills and 24 digs on the night. Logan Magnolia goes to Sheldon. It's a long ways up there, and they win it, or they win one of their three Matches, 10 kills and 20 digs from Zoe Heim on the day. Coon Rapids Bayard, a 2-0 day. They beat Audubon and Panorama. A couple of nice wins there. 18 assists, 4 kills, 5 digs from Amelia Cook against Audubon. And 6 kills, 8 digs, 5 aces from Amelia Clayburg against Panorama. West Harrison, 1-1 one one on the night. They beat Whiting. They lost to Woodbury Central. 12 assists, 5 digs for Riley Evans in their win. Lamars was 1-2 at Sheldon. Aubrey Leesink. Leesink. 13 assists, 10 digs, 2 aces. L-E-U, S-I-N-K. All I know is that's, that's sink at the end there, right? Right, right? Maybe. Alexa Worth, seven kills versus Spencer, 12 assists, seven digs for Lou Sink against Cherokee. Johnson County Central, three straights over Nebraska City last night, 15 kills, 11 assists, eight digs for the reigning KMA Land Nebraska Player of the Year. Ashley beat the Elmwood Murdoch, one and one last night. They beat Weeping Water, got 12 kills from Annie Backmeyer, 12 assists, five digs from James Sampson. They lost to Utan. Harlan was one and two. Creston was one and two. Lamona beat East Union in three. AL was one and two at Johnston. In the Missouri, Savannah beat Lathrop. In Nebraska, Auburn swept Louisville. Johnson Brock was two and zero. Oh, and Lord Central Catholic got a five set win over Fall City Sacred Heart. Busy, busy night of volleyball last night. Number two, Sioux City East in football handles Glenwood. 41 to 14, Miles Weger, Jacob Rayfogle, two rushing touchdowns. Cal Jepson, two passing touchdowns as well. Number three, Palmyra sweeps the Dale Nielsen cross country meet at East Butler yesterday. The girls had 19 points. Haley Henschen and Aaron Chambers go 1 2. The boys had 15. Gannon Hubbard, Owen Raymaker, Grady Vasa, 1 2 and 4. Johnson County Central boys were winners at Weeping Water in cross country yesterday as well. Logan Top, individual champ ahead of Ashland Greenwood's Archer Ferguson, Trevin Husky, Dalton Henderson also in the top four for the Thunderbirds. Top five, that is. Ashland Greenwood girls won the title at Weeping Water. Zoe Smith was second to lead the way for the Blue Jays with 14 points. Madison Van Langingham of Johnson County Central was third. Capri Hansen and Bryn Boynot of Syracuse, four and five. Wayne girls were third at Albia. Destiny Brown led the way there for the Falcons with a sixth place finish. On we go to number four. There was KMA Land softball last night in, the, in Missouri. North Andrew gets the win, seven to five over Maryville. Three hit games for Gracie Wilmis and Emma Curran. Two hits for Briley Renez. Nebraska City in Nebraska, of course, rolled over Omaha Benson, 17 nothing. Two RBI each from Riley Beathy and Lily Madison. Ashlyn Greenwood handled Freeman. Ellie Milburn staying hot. Two for three, a homer, an RBI. Paisley Schrode, two hits, a double, two RBI. And Reese Fisher goes seven, strikes out 12. Auburn a winner, outscoring Cass, eight to six. Addison Darnell and Morgan Stanley had two hits each. And Bree Wehankel, three RBI and a triple. Losing players 
losing teams that had players with multi-hit games. Alyssa Cunningham of Maryville. Eliza Hag of Syracuse, who homered, drove in two, struck out four, and a loss to Fort Calhoun. At number five, week one is here. The football season is here. If you didn't play in week zero, if you didn't play last night, if you don't play tomorrow, which there are a few that do, you're playing tonight. Week one of the high school football season. We got it all for you. Barrett Auto Center High School Football Preview Show at 620. Midline Farms Football Connection Show at about 710, 715-ish. And then the Keys Auto Center High School Football Scoreboard Show after that about 930 until midnight. Of course, join us tomorrow as well at KMA 960, KMA FM 99.1. We've got all kinds of fun and games. Saturday morning scoreboard show. You can, of course, check us out. KMALand.com will be updating throughout the night with a live scoreboard and all of the results and stats that you yearn for. KMALand.com. And again, we'll talk tomorrow as well. Martin Morning Report on a Saturday morning. Thanks for listening on this Friday morning. Thanks for being here, HUD. Shenandoah, Clorinda, you got a prediction tonight? Page County Super Bowl? Oh, he's calling for the upset. He's calling for the upset. I like it. Thanks for listening, and thanks to United Group Insurance, serving Southwest Iowa for over 40 years for sponsoring today's Martin Morning Report.